Today we're going to be talking about triangles and coordinate proofs. And this is another type of proof that's a little bit more algebra based. We put our figures in the coordinate plane and then attempt to prove things about them. Um, I really like coordinate proofs. Some students struggle with them because it's a matter of placing the diagram correctly. Okay, so our steps for placing triangles in the coordinate plane, and I'd make sure you have these hints in your notes. Use the origin as a vertex or center of the triangle. Place at least one side of the triangle on an axis. Keep the triangle within the first quadrant, because then all your numbers are gonna be positive. And then use coordinates that make computations as simple as possible. So like you might have to make something 2a or 3a if you're trying to find a half or a third of something. Okay, so position and label right triangle. Okay, so we know it's a right triangle, x, y, z, with leg d units long in the coordinate plane. Um, I think that this should say right isosceles triangle. Or let's change it so that it says that. So again, you want to put it, you don't want to put your triangle here. That'd make no sense because you'd have to find the coordinates of all of these points. What you want to do is you want to put it, put your right angle, since it's a right triangle, put your right angle where we have a right angle already. So I have a right angle there. And that is triangle X, Y, Z. And I now need to come up with coordinates for Z and Y. It says this length is D. So along my X axis, I go D units. I didn't go up any units, so that's zero. I decided it was an isosceles triangle. I think it should say that. That should be also D. I didn't go left or right any units, but I did go up D units. So that's what that should look like. Okay, name the missing coordinates. Um, some of these are gonna be easier than others. Q, okay, so first of all, they tell me it is a right isosceles, isosceles right triangle. Um, Q is easy, zero, zero. Hopefully you realize that zero, zero. Just so you know, sometimes our book is gonna have an O there that's just tell you that's the origin. It's going to have an O and a Q. Since this is an isosceles right triangle, we know this is C units long because I went over C units to get there. And then I go, since it's an isosceles triangle, I know that that's C. So that is 0 and C. Ooh, no, it's not 0 and C because I'm not on the x-axis. I'm not on the y-axis. I went over C units and up C units, so it's C and C. Okay, so now a coordinate proof. So we have triangle ABC. S is the midpoint of AC. T is the midpoint of BC. I need to prove that ST is parallel to AB. So to prove things are parallel, you could prove angles congruent. But proving angles congruent is gonna be challenging because you need to know a little bit more algebra here. What you do need to prove though, is we could prove that those have the same slope. So proving that those have the same slope, I first need to find the coordinate of S. So S is the midpoint. So I do my algebra at zero, plus 2b over 2, and 0 plus 2c over 2. So s's coordinates are b, c. And they gave me this picture. See how that's nice? They made it 2b and 2c so that s was had integers in front of it. It didn't have 1 half. t. Okay, so I take 
2b plus 2a, I divide by 2. Um, I'm sorry, that should be a comma there. 2c plus 0 over 2. So this turns into b plus a and c. So now what we want to do is we now want to try and find the slope. So the slope of st. So change in c minus c over b plus a minus b, we get a 0 over an a, which is 0. Slope of ab. We have 0 minus 0 over 2a minus 0. So I get 0 over 2a, which is 0. And so now we can say since these slopes are the same, st is parallel to ab. And so you're using some algebra to prove something about a figure. Um, and it's kind of interesting that if I have the midpoints of a side, that it is parallel to that, to that third side. Actually, going to talk about that, I think, later on. I forgot when we talk about that. Anyway, sorry. Okay, example four. Write a chord to prove to prove this segment joins the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle to the midpoint of the base is perpendicular to the base. Okay, so I need to prove I'm given that this triangle is isosceles. They give me xw is equal to wz, and I want to prove that yw is perpendicular. So again, we're going to use slopes. We're going to use the idea of slopes here. I could prove it's a right angle, but that's going to be really complicated. So I need to prove, um, I should have written, you know what I should have done, I apologize. I should have given, given, we are given triangle X, Y, Z is isosceles and xw is congruent to wz. So I need to find the coordinates of w. Since w is the midpoint, w's coordinates are 2a over 2 0, which is a 0. Again, notice how they use 2a, so that I have a nice number here. I just have regular a. I don't have half a. They would have just used a. I would have had been working in halves. I could have also noticed that. Well, I didn't notice that, that a. I couldn't. Actually, no. I'm going to change my mind. I couldn't use the fact that a was, we knew that a was definitely this coordinate because I'm trying to prove that we're perpendicular here. So let's find the slope of x, z. That slope is 0 minus 0 over 2a minus 0, which is 0. And the slope of y, w is b minus 0 over a minus a which is a b over a 0, which is undefined. Hopefully you realize if one slope is 0 and the other is undefined, the lines are perpendicular. Okay, so therefore, yw is perpendicular to xz. 
something I did poorly on the last proof was I didn't state the given. Make sure you state restate the given, okay? Make sure you're stating at the very end what we're trying to prove. I stated what, the, what we were trying to prove at the very end, showing all my steps, but I didn't state the given. You wanna make sure you always state your given in any proof. Um, so that's all I have for you on triangles and coordinate proofs. Please make sure that you, please, I hope you enjoyed my video, I should say. I apologize.